I'm Craig from Amusement Insiders and we're at Splashworks today. We're going to take you on a tour and tell you if it's worth a visit. Alrighty, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks to getting a reservation at Splashworks and is Splashworks worth the visit? Well, number one, yes, Splashworks is most definitely worth the visit, especially this year. Um, the capacity is extremely low and you can get on everything multiple times and you can also check out their new cliff jumping experience, Mountain Bay Cliffs, which is absolutely amazing and it looks a lot smaller on any video than it does in person it's a lot taller in person than it is in any video so you got to definitely check that out it's something unique if you don't have a cottage um, or you haven't been cliff jumping it's definitely something that you should definitely check out nonetheless splashworks to craig and i's opinion is definitely worth the visit um, it's extremely safe very social distance very clean and there is like one lifeguard for her like one person for every two lifeguards so it's the safest it could ever possibly be. But nonetheless, um, Splashworks is pretty booked up right now until about August 23rd, I last checked. And a lot of people are complaining that they can't get a reservation. Well, you may not know, but at this current moment, you can walk on over to Splashworks and there's people taking down your names um, to join a waiting list for that day if people don't show up for their reservation and you can then go to Splashworks. I don't know how... Um, accessible that is like how many people on that list end up getting into splashworks but that is one way to get into splashworks if you weren't able to get a reservation um and that we know of starting around august 6th unconfirmed uh we could be heading back to normalcy for outdoor attractions as close to possible so that is good news we could just see canada's one of them become the way it was before and uh, you'll be able to go to the park or water park starting around August 6th. Now, again, that is unconfirmed news, and it is only coming from the news on Twitter, which sometimes can be right and sometimes can be wrong, and things obviously can change. But nonetheless, uh, that is two ways you can possibly be looking at getting a reservation. So if you're trying to get Canada's Wonderland based around Splashworks, sometime after August 6th might be your best bet. Or if you don't really care that much about Splashworks and you would like to enjoy it, going to Canada's Wonderland's Dry Park, making a Dry Park reservation, and then joining the wait list at Splashworks Front Gate um, might be your best bet to getting a reservation or getting into Splashworks. Um Outside of that, it was very unique. So how they did the wave pool is they'd have a rope around the entire wave pool and then it would be one way in, one way out. So super smart. And the wave pool was very social distance, as you can tell from this footage right now. And there was absolutely zero lines on the water slides. The restaurants had zero weight. So if you're looking for food, even the restaurant... Um, inside Splashworks, if you have a reservation, might be better to get food at than in the dry park if you're uh, roaming around the dry park throughout the day. Um, outside of that, uh, there's not really much to report on. The lockers are open, so you can get a locker, um, and the cabanas are open as well for an upcharge on Canada's Wonderland's website. I would highly recommend getting a cabana if you have a Splashworks reservation because it is shaded, and with the heat that we've been experiencing, it's been like Florida up here in Canada or in Ontario. Um, one day it says it's thunderstorming and it doesn't, and one day it says it doesn't thunderstorm and it does, so... It's a very Florida-like weather. I would highly recommend the cabana. Super awesome experience in the cabana. They have uh, lockers in the cabanas as well, a little safe. Um, they have televisions and uh, just super comfortable and shaded. And um, I think that's pretty much it in terms of Splashworks. I don't really know much else to go on in terms of Splashworks. The water slides are obviously great. I wish there was a little more in Splashworks, but that being said, uh, this season is definitely the season to try and get into Splashworks. And there are two ways, um, both via reservation or the wait list at Front Gate Splashworks, not Front Gate of Canada's Wonderland. You want to go to the gate of Splashworks and look for the person with um, a clipboard and join the waiting list. Nonetheless, uh, that's pretty much it for Splashworks. Definitely highly recommend. Super safe, super social distance. Um... And uh, it's definitely a great experience. And the new Mountain Bay Cliffs is absolutely amazing. So for us, it's definitely worth the visit. Try and score a reservation as best you can. Again, reservations will start to slowly open up over the coming weeks. Wonderland is slowly increasing its capacity to 75% from 25%. 
Um, so you'll see availabilities open up slowly or they might be using the waiting list. So just keep an eye out on the website. I check daily um, and I would highly suggest that you guys check daily as well. As always, thanks so much for watching our videos. Hopefully this video was informative. If you have any questions about Splashworks or Canada's Wonderland, comment down below that and I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great week. Bye.